Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so back in December of last year, I had some blonde highlights done. Um, and prior about six months to that, I had them done again. So I have the longer lengths. You can't see it because I've got my hair up in sort of like a men's top knot style. But you may just be able to see sort of like the, the lighter sort of elements throughout my hair. But it was really bleached. Um, you may see on a couple of recent clips back where I've got my hair with a, a straightener passed through it. So you can actually see just how blonde parts of my hair is. Um, I very much like a cooler uh, tone of blonde rather than the warmer, more traditional sort of blondes. Like a real nice silvery element, which I've got. But of course, that takes its toll. So I'm going to talk to you about a product today, which this this one here, which is new. And this is the L'Oreal Paris LV Color Protect All for Blonde 10-in-1 Bleach Rescue Leave-In Spray. Now, just because of the wording, it's like real white lettering on a real light lilac background. So it's a little bit difficult to see on camera here. Um, and I am not fantastic at my filming, sort of the capturing lighting and things on my channel. So I do apologize. But what I would do on the front of this clip, I'll make sure that there is a real strong picture so you can actually see the, the bottle um, and see the front packaging and see what it's all about. But we will talk through this one today. This is a, a product which actually I first tried and I wasn't so keen on. I thought, great, I've just bought that. And I absolutely hate that when you go and buy a product and you think it's going to be absolutely amazing and you try and it's just completely naff. I'll be honest. I tried this first of all and I thought to myself, no, not for me. I then went back to it and now I think it's an absolutely amazing product and I've been using it for just shy of two weeks now, I believe. And it's really, really good. I absolutely love this product. Now, you may see from my hair, you think, what on earth is he on about? It's got really dark. My hair is naturally quite dark, um, but as you'll see throughout my hair, I have got really, and I'm going to show you when we go through anyway, I have got lighter hair, I can assure you. But this 10 in 1 spray is part of the L'Oreal Paris LV Color Protect uh, shampoo and conditioner range. Now, this is the purple shampoo and conditioner anti brassiness for highlighted brunette blonde and silver hair. If you're interested in that, which is, is this is the new addition. OK, so that's the new addition spray to this shampoo and conditioner range. OK, then I, at the end, I will attach the review, which I've already done for this shampoo and conditioner because I absolutely love this. And if you're like me and you really like a silvery sort of tone to the blonde in your hair, whether you're a woman there with really glamorous long hair, if you're a man there and you've got the sort of uh, highlights throughout your hair, whoever you are this is an absolute amazing product for having those silvery sort of tones in your hair so that's what i use and i really really like that i've tried a whole host of all different purple toning products and i really love this particular one i keep coming back to this one um, and it's cost effective so a really great product there a little tip there if you're looking for a product like that it is a really really good one so i'll attach the review for that at the end but this one is really really good so let's move on to this spray here. So 10 in 1 spray. Okay, so why would you need help with uh, with blonde hair? Why would you need a leave-in treatment spray? So I found that it can blonde having uh highlights throughout my hair using bleach on the hair. I never actually anticipated that it would change my hair as much as what it did. The first time I had it done, it was quite nice because my hair is finer in texture anyway. So it gave a little bit of texture to my hair and it made my hair feel a little bit more fuller. I have fine hair, I have a lot of it. Um Having said that, I waited not that long and then I had it done again to brighten it up. So that gave a little bit more stress to my hair. Then I waited a few months, I had it done again, and then I waited six months. So now I would only ever do it every six months if I was going to ever have my hair highlighted again. Um, I'm not going to just because I'm getting a little bit kind of fed up in all honesty with how much goes into looking after blonde hair. So this is me being truth and truthful and honest. I have very dark hair and what you have to put into blonde hair is a real premium service. Now, at the moment, I don't want to do anything radical with my hair. I don't want to be touching color or anything like that as a man. Um, not that that's an issue at all, but at the moment with uh, studying in the background with a real pressure job in the background, I don't necessarily want to mix that up and perhaps I made a mistake. So it would be that I would wait, let it grow out and then perhaps have it professionally sort of looked at in a few months time. Um, but this spray here, if you're looking for something to really transform the, the, the condition of your hair, perhaps you found that the texture has really, really changed in your hair, perhaps that you've been left with hair which is really quite coarse, really quite wiry, when actually you used to have really soft, really quite nice sort of uh, shining, sort of very flat hair, but you wanted a bit of texture, but you find that you miss your old texture, that was me. And do you know what, when I had this done sort of in December, coming up to Christmas, I thought really nice, it was done really quite blonde, it looked really, really cool. Um, 
I really, really liked it. It really looked what I what I wanted. But I found that when I styled it, it just started going really quite puffy, quite coarse. It would be quite sort of aerated all the time. It would kind of almost like stick out, um, which wasn't what I was going for. And I find that bleach just completely changes the texture. And it's a lot more of a premium service and much more of a premium colour. So you really need something which is going to be nourishing and looking after your hair. So this is where this comes in. So it's 10 in 1. So all for blonde 10 in 1 bleach rescue leave-in spray. So it's hair reinforcement. It's anti-split ends. It's increased fibre diameter. Surface damage reduction, hydration, shine, easier detangling, blow dry, uh, heat protection and humidity protection. Okay, so it's for blonde, bleached or highlighted hair. Now, how much have I used? So I am here on the bottle. I don't know if you can kind of see in the light. Yeah, you probably can just about here. So I haven't got very much of this left at all. And that was two weeks. So I paid £10 for this. Okay, and this is 150 mil. I bought this from Boots here in the UK. Um, and it's, like I say, first of all, I wasn't a great fan of it. We'll go into that in just a moment. But I do find that you do use quite a bit of it. I use it daily. So when I'm going to style my hair in the morning, when I slick my hair back like this, and do like a top knot style here, I comb my hair all back and I spray this all the way through after shampoo and, uh, after shampoo and conditioner throughout my hair. Um, okay, so directions. Spray directly onto lengths. Okay, this is me because... This is me because... Of, I'm just going to be open and honest here. So I have been working all day today on really fine print and I went to read the bottle out and I couldn't see it. So excuse me, I'm going to put my Harry Potter star glasses on. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Now I can actually see for a natural looking, healthy feeling blonde. After bleaching or colouring, hair becomes more prone to damage. Yes, it absolutely does. And this can lose strength and shine, enriched with vegetal collagen the formula reinforces hair fiber to help fight damage and dullness our multi-action spray helps with styling to restore healthy looking hair softer touch and more radiant from the first use so we've gone through the 10 uh, the 10 actions but there's a little bit more detail here so we will just go through that so hair reinforcement with up to 99 percent less breakage split ends of hair reduced up to 9.5 percent increased fiber diameter surface damage reduction feels more hydrated more shine up to 10 times easier detangling that uh, felicitates below drying heat protection up to 230 uh, degrees celsius and up to 24 hours humidity protection so let's go through these 10 and do i agree with them so number one hair reinforcement of up to 99 percent less breakage there is absolutely less breakage and it absolutely is a savior to your hair always use i would say wet products on wet hair and then you do notice a huge difference um i tried this on after just having had a haircut and then i wanted to kind of spray it for a little bit and then sort of tie it back like this didn't really work left my hair being a little bit cakey so even though it says you can use it on dry hair just be a little bit cautious of that because of the ingredients in here i do find it almost needs a bit of a film on the hair but it is really very good um 99 less breakage not so sure on that i always find that really hard to believe in how do you get such an exact figure so i would kind of ignore that but let me just tell you that it does really, really work for less breakage and it does completely transform the ends of your hair okay split ends appear reduced appear reduced hence the word appearance makes the lengths of the hair look better looking at the ends makes them look absolutely increasingly much much better can you ever get rid of split ends? I believe you can't. I don't believe in any of these bond repairing products or anything like that at all. Best way to get rid of split ends is a haircut, to be quite honest with you. And, I, and a lot of people won't like that, but it is. Um, dusting off of your hair regularly, every kind of, I never say six weeks, eight to ten weeks, absolutely perfect. If you're a lady sat there, that glamorous flowing hair, really, really lush flowing hair, then really, really look after it and really invest your time in seeing a hairdresser because it pays off. If you're a man there thinking, nah, I'm not, not going to bother, I'm just going to let it grow out, I'm going to grow long hair, don't, because it's better to get regular cuts and then you've got that really nice, healthy, sleek hair and it does pay off. Okay, so up to 9.5 increased fibre diameter. Where enough does that figure come from? I'm sorry, I love this product, but I just think where enough to get that from? I understand it's based on science and instrumental versus shampoo alone versus bleaching and an instrumental test. Yeah, that's great. But 9.5% increased fibre diameter, it makes hair look more, the word often on hair products, isn't it, is voluptuous, which means basically more life, more character in the hair to me. 
This, I absolutely agree, it certainly does do that. Number four, surface damage reduction. Absolutely, completely agree. It really transforms the hair. It looks after the hair. It makes it feel like hair again. Blonde can very often be uh, quite hay-like, I always say. If you've got a really dried out blonde texture of hair, it can almost, like the, the phrase goes, doesn't it, a straw bell on your head. We've all seen hair like that, where it's been overly processed, where it's been absolutely obliterated with bleach. Try not to go there, but it is so easy to get there. With the right nourishment, with the right care after care, you can have amazing looking hair again, even from that. This product being one of them, which helps transform that. Okay, so five, hair feels more hydrated. It absolutely does. Go careful not to use too much on dry hair because it does make you feel like that you've got a bit of a product throughout your hair. But on wet hair, I'm dried off with a blow dryer. Absolutely amazing. Really, really lovely product. More shine. Yes, it does. Blonde hair is incredibly difficult to get a shine on it. This gives you more of a natural texture, more of a natural feel, and it does make the light appear to shine from your hair. So absolutely don't agree with that. Seven, up to 10 times easier detangling. Again, not so sure where they get that statistic come from, but it really does make it so much easier to detangle your hair and pass a comb or a brush throughout your hair. Always be careful when you're brushing through blonde hair, particularly blonde when you've got naturally dark hair and it's wet, because of course you've had to do so much to it to get it lightened and then throw in that you've got wet hair it's really 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 fragile so just be really careful with that but no absolutely agree much more detangling uh, as opposed to not using any product at all so really really great there uh, felicitates blow drying yeah certainly it makes a really nice uh, nice effortless way of uh, passing the blow dryer through your hair and it certainly does make you have a much more of a nicer uh, uniformed look it really does make the hair appear much more healthier much more controlled so yeah really really great there on that aspect too okay heat protection up to 230 degrees i've used a straightener with this product absolutely love it and it makes my hair feel really really healthy as i'm locking that health and that vitality into my hair so completely agree with that up to 24 hours of humidity protection now when you've got blonde hair and you've got finer textured hair i've got a lot of it but because because it's been bleached, the ends can often puff out and it looks a bit silly to be got onto you. And I really, really don't like that. Now, for me, I actually remember having my hair highlighted and then styling it for Christmas Eve, uh, big family function, and then thinking, yeah, it's going to be great. Christmas Eve, um, I always used to spend with my nan. Sadly, last year, to my heartbreak, I lost my nan, which I find very, very difficult on a daily basis. So as I went with my mum and my eldest brother uh, to the crematorium uh, to see my cherished nan and granddad's uh, grave, um, as I, uh, as my mum and I uh, led the flowers which we had uh, purchased, um, I thought no more of it. Uh, of course, why would I? I was there seeing somebody's grave, my nan, who is my world, and I struggle with on a daily basis. Um, when I actually, when we got to our actual uh, family uh, party, our get together for Christmas, when I was there, I actually then caught a glimpse of myself looking in the mirror, and how puffy my hair went um, was just, no, not great. So straight away after that, um, in the weeks that followed Christmas, I really looked at the nourishment and looking after my hair and getting it much more healthy. That's probably partly why I wouldn't necessarily go back to having real strong blonde highlights throughout my hair right to the root. If I was ever doing it again, I would use like um, almost slices throughout the lengths of the hair rather than right to the root because I do find that it goes quite puffy. But this product really did calm everything down and um, humidity protection it was actually drizzling a rain on this particular day um, which again can give you the same type of effects as if it's humidity with moisture in the air so this product really does help with that um, I've used it on days where it has been a little bit like that um, and it does absolutely you can see the difference so this product all around is a really really great product it says here for blonde bleached or highlighted hair it's great for all of that, I would say. Absolutely really great product. Where it says about the statistics, always just err on caution with that because I don't necessarily know how you can 100% say like 99% or 9.5% an increase of diameter. But all in all, a really, really great product. Um, and I would just say spray all throughout the hair. I didn't find that it made an effect on my scalp or my roots or anything like that at all on the nape of my neck, which is often quite sensitive with me. But I did find that I had a much more better effect from using it on damp hair. So whether you're a lady sat there and you've got this amazing long flowing hair but it's on the finer side or if you if you've got really really short hair and you've got fine hair thinning hair and it's completely almost like you're feeling as though you can't do anything with it or perhaps you can see through your hair a little bit do you know what with the right know-how with the right products you can have amazing 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 hair um remember you are an amazing person your hair does not define you you do so with the right know-how and the right products you can still have amazing hair whatever texture 
or whatever thickness of your hair. So this product is really, really great, but just remember it is only a hair product. You are amazing. You don't need anything to make you that. Okay, so I've really enjoyed this clip. I hope you have too. Um, I haven't got anything else to add actually, so that's really, really great. Bear in mind, if you want to know more about the shampoo conditioner, I will add that on the end. And this is kind of like an accompaniment product to that. Um, the one last thing I wanted to kind of show you is that you're probably thinking he hasn't got blonde hair. Well, yeah, I have. On the ends though, as you can see, silvery, blonde, textured hair. So there we go. So there we go, I just thought I'd show you that. So thanks very much for sharing this clip with me. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I'll be seeing you then. Bye for now.